Hey everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new here, my name is Enid. And if you've been following me at all, you know that I've decided to focus on journal making in 2024. So I spent the month of January trying to build up my ephemera stash because I'm fairly new to journal making and I really didn't have much. Um, and I was making ephemera as I made a journal and it was very time consuming to do it all at once. Anyway, so last month in January, I made a video on clusters and then I made a video on master boards and um, uh, how I cut it up to make bases for other pieces of ephemera like tags and uh, corner tucks and uh, pockets and um, snippets and things like that. Um, belly bands, I mean. Anyway, so um, this video is going to um, be about making or trying to mass make pockets for journals other than um, the basic rectangular tuck and, and pocket. So um, sit tight and I'll be right back to get started. Okay, so let's start making pockets um, to build the uh, ephemera stash. For this particular uh, pocket, um, you can either use two four by six pieces of paper or four four by six pieces of paper. Um, but for this for this particular um, demonstration, I'm just going to use the two four by six papers, and the gist is. Um, that you cut them into one, two, three, and four inch pieces. Um, so this is one where if you use four pieces of paper, you can make actually two of these. Um, and you'll wind up with four one inch strips out of the four pieces of paper. You'll wind up with four one inch strips with which you can use like for belly bands or snippets. So um, that's something you should know. If you use two four by six papers, you'll get this look with just the two pieces, you know, two different papers. And uh, you can only make one and you'll wind up with one two inch strip of um, paper that you can use as a belly band or something like that. So um, let's get started. Um, I'm just going to take um, this particular piece of paper and I'm going to cut a one inch strip and a three inch strip out of it because they're going to be alternating. Hold on. So this is my one inch strip. Somehow that doesn't look straight, but that's probably just me. Yeah, that's my one inch strip. And then this is my three inch strip. And then out of this piece of paper, I'm gonna use a two inch and then this is my remaining four inch. So I have a one, two, three, and four inch piece of paper, all right? So what we're gonna go ahead and do is round the corners like we did on this one. If you could see that the corners are rounded. And I used um, the middle punch, which is four millimeter. So I'm just gonna round the two top corners. of each strip. And this is pretty much non-directional paper, so it doesn't matter which corners you clip. And so that's that. And then let's clip the corners on these. We'll get them both done at the same time. So again, this particular one was using four different pieces of paper. And I wound up getting, um, being able to make two of um, these envelopes. 
or these pockets rather. This is the four piece inch. So when you use the four pieces, like I said, you wind up with four one inch strips left over. And when you do this version, um, you wind up with the one two inch strip left over. So then all you're gonna do next is start gluing them together. And so you can thumb notch them if you want to, or you can leave them as is. I'm gonna leave them as is. But if you do this, well, I'll thumb notch one. And what I would do is um, put all four of them together. And then, oh, sorry, spilled the glue. And maybe, Try to center it and see if you can notch them all in the same place. There you go. That way all your thumb notches will be in the same place. There you go. So then um, the bottom one you glue on the three sides. Oh, there you go. Oh, I hope that was in frame. And um, I saw all of these envelopes that I'm about to show you made um, by Pam at the Paper Outpost. So I will link her down below her video. So yeah, so it's as easy as that. And then you take this and you glue it. And you glue it to the next, which is the three inch. Oh my goodness, don't stick. Oh, and um, if you're gonna ink them, ink them before you glue them. So it's, it's gonna be pretty hard for me to go in and ink these at this point. It's still doable, but your best bet is to ink them beforehand. And I'm gonna show you, I think it's uh, five different pockets. And uh, yeah, so this is pocket number one. And then yeah, I kind of like the way they look thumb notched. So I am going to go ahead and thumb notch these as well. The original one I made, I did not. Okay. So. So let me um, let me ink this one because the colors are really light. And if you want to fast forward, fast forward for the inking. Yeah, so um, I think these are really cute, and you can use them, you know, like as a floating pocket. You can put them in a belly band or you can use them as a tuck. Yeah. Let me put my pin in my glue. So I'm not gonna ink them much. So again, you need a one, three, and four inch piece to get this done. And I used um, 
uh, I think Pam at the Paper Outpost might have done it with book page. I can't recall. Or she used um, scraps of paper that were longer than six. And then she trimmed them down to six. So I figured I have, you know, four by six uh, paper pads. So I might as well use four by six and, and go from there. So I, I took a shortcut there. And I'm not um, inking them all the way down the side because the other pieces of paper are going to be on top of it. So that's how this would look. And so, yeah, I'm just going to glue the side, the bottom. Make sure you glue the correct side. And just kind of line it up and stick it down. And then again, glue the sides. The bottom. And stick it down and then again glue the sides and the bottom and stick it down And since this is like a mass make to kind of build my ephemera stash, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make the pockets. And um, I don't want the video to go on all night. So I'm just going to um, show you like we've put these two together. I'll put one more together since I already have it cut. You can go ahead and fast forward if you need to. And um, then I'll show you one that I've already completed and decorated so that you get the gist of it. Because I'm too, um, like I said in the past, I'm indecisive. And I would be um, uh, picking pieces all night long. And this one I did not thumb notch and I should have. Oh, well. You know what? Let me just I'll notch the uh, top three pockets and then the other pocket out. Just leave straight. Because I really like the way the thumb notch looks. Okay, so we'll again glue the bottom the sides I mean the bottom and stick that one to the three inch piece and I'll go back and ink this afterwards and what I'll do to ink it so that um I won't ink the uh, the piece behind the thumb notches. I'll just slip another piece of paper inside the pocket. Awesome. So when I go to ink this, I'll just take a piece of scrap paper, let's pretend this is scrap, and I'll just put it in like this, and then go ahead and ink. I might as well do them all. Let's 
how I would ink those edges. down, cover the edge, and slide it down that way. There, so now that's inked. And then just let me ink the top and the sides. There you go. That's how you would ink it if you forgot to before you started um, gluing everything down. So I have three of these put together. One made out of two pages. Um, this is out of two pages and this is out of four pages. And this one I'll ink after um, we get up. And then this is what it looks like when it's all decorated and filled. So um, I just uh, put in some little signature cards in each of the pockets. And then um, what you can do with this is you can, um, if you put it in a belly band, you can back this and um, maybe add another pocket in the back if you're going to put it as a free floating pocket. Um, or what you can do is glue it on the two sides and then use it as a tuck and then, um, hold on, and then you can stick like a big tag or something behind it in the journal like that. So, or a big journal card or whatever you want, a piece of, you know, folded paper, coffee dyed paper. But that's how you can use it in your journal. So now I've got four of these in my stash, which I'm really happy with. I'm going to keep this on the side. So that's pocket number one. And then pocket number two is basically, um, this is kind of like a, just a, my... Um, what do you call it? I can't think of the word right now. But anyway, the way that you make this pocket is you take a piece of um, paper and the size of the paper, you know, will determine the size of your pocket. This piece of paper from this book happens to be about 10 inches long and seven and three eighths wide. So you give it that first fold and then you give it a second fold. Oh, my prototype. That's what that is. Anyway, so you give it a second fold. And then depending on which side of the page you want it for will determine the way that you start making your folds. For example, if you want this to be on a right side page, I would start folding it this way. If you want it to be on a left side page, I would flip it over and start folding it this way. Um, I want it to be on a right side page, so I'm going to go ahead and um, just take my first uh, page after I folded it, and I'm going to um, just fold it down like that, and it's not going to be perfect, I mean, so you fold it like that, right, and then you take the next one. And you fold it over and you try to leave um, even spacing on both sides. Like so from here to here, you want to try to get that as even as you can. Then you take the next one. Again, you fold that over. And you uh, take the last piece and you fold that over. Okay. Actually, um, when Pam at the paper outposted it, she didn't fold um, the last piece. She left it like that. 
I took the liberty of folding it um, because of how I want to use it. So um, uh, that's my little uh, touch to this particular um, pocket. So what I'm going to do now is um, use a little bit of glue stick. And I ran out of my... Uh, my regular glue stick so I'm gonna flip it over right and I'm gonna put some glue stick I ran out of my Elmer's so I stole my grandson and daughter's um, Dollar Tree glue stick so I'm giving that a shot see what happens there anyway I'm gonna glue this down because when I put stuff in and out of the pockets I don't want it to get snagged on these so then you're gonna do that to all the all of the all of the folds you're gonna fold them in in the opposite direction right and you're gonna fold them in and glue them down and again this one I'm gonna do it in the opposite direction and I'm just gonna glue it down uh, fold it down Let me get this up. Oh, I guess I still need this. And then this one I'm going to fold down. And then I'm going to fold it again. So first fold was this way. And then this way. And so now you have four pockets you have let's see um, you're gonna have one pocket here one pocket here one pocket here and then one pocket in the back all right or a tuck which is how I plan to use it so then you're gonna go ahead and, and glue the bottom And then you're going to glue the little sides. And actually, I should probably glue them this way. That way I know how far to go with the glue. And then glue that way. Okay. So then if you want to see that again, I'll show you with the prototype. We had the piece of paper, and you're going to fold it this way. You're going to fold it that way, and then you're going to start folding each of the flaps, the corner flaps down. And then when you glue them, you're going to glue them on the opposite side. And you're just going to like flip them in or open up the page like I did with the first one, which I think is easier. Yeah, anyway. So you're going to fold, glue it on that opposite side and then put the fold inside. And then... Glue it and flip it on the inside. And then um, this top one, you have the option of leaving it like that. Or you can glue it down the way that I'm doing. And so I chose to glue mine down so that it has the appearance of a tuck. Let me put the cover on this. And then I'm just going to glue... Um, the bottom just on one side you need glue and then um, 
glue these sides. One, two, three. Again. And this is not perfect right here. So I'm not a hand trimmer with the scissor. I'm no good at it. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my trimmer and the glue spreads out enough so that I know I can cut this and it'll still be glued. But yeah, there I just trimmed it and it's nice and even and the top is even. So I'm not going to worry about that. And so then once this is all glued down, right, you wind up, this is the decorated version of it. Um, so I've got three tags in there. And I didn't bother to decorate here because the tags hide it. Um, so I just decorated the front with a floral and two tags, added a little butterfly there. And then just, um, actually, this is separating. So put that in there. Put this in there. And put that in there. And again, I'm going to glue this on two sides into my journal. And I'm going to use it as a tuck so I can put something behind it. So let's move on to pocket number three. So now I've got three of these for my stash. Um, so pocket number three is super easy. Oh my gosh, this is super easy. I, if you've seen it before, you know how easy it is. But anyway, the, oh, I showed you the decorated one before I intended to. But anyway, this is what the decorated one looks like. Um, and so I just stuck some little tags in here, a journal card. Um, you wind up with one, two, three, and four. Um, and you can use it as a floating pocket. Or again, you can make this a tuck in, in your journal by gluing it down on two sides. But anyway, this is my prototype. There's really nothing more I need to do to this. It's what it is. It, you know, it is what it is. And so basically what you do for this particular one is you, let me cover this. You take your page and you flip it sideways. And then what I did was I lined mine up with like a, a line on my uh, mat. And then I basically did the same thing hold on yeah so I, I just made kind of like a v try to get the v as symmetrical as you can and then just fold it down right and then all you do is flip these two pieces over and slide the left side into the right side and fold it down on the sides and that's it that's the pocket that's how easy that is there's no gluing nothing all you have to do is um decorate it and uh uh ink it if you want it inked which i won't do right now i can do that off screen but this is pocket number three and now i've got three of them in my stash and like I said, I just put a little bit of lace here, some um, tags, a floral, a butterfly. And you can just, you know, glue it or keep it as a freestanding. You can put it inside of a tuck, in a belly band, however you want to use it. So that's pocket number three. And then pocket number four. This one I just made. I'm sure it's been made before, um, but I didn't see anyone... Um, else do it but I mean it's super simple and um this I wanted it to oh and again I'm showing you the the finished version <laughs> before I intended to but it's basically just a large tag with a pocket and then I uh, put a floral 
uh, some a number, a little tag and a butterfly. And again, you can use this however you want. You can make it a tuck. You can use it under a belly band. You can put it in a tuck. You can uh, put it inside of another pocket. However you want to use it, you can use it. And basically what I did, um, and I'll only make the one of these because it's so simple. Um, you, What I did was I took the book page, I folded it in half, and I glued it together. And then I just used my big, um, my tag punch and I did the biggest, <clears throat> the biggest, um, corner, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. I took my, um, one and a half inch punch and I notched out at the bottom and I'm just going to ink this side. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, they're both going to wind up upside down, but I guess it doesn't matter because you're going to, um, you're going to, um, decorate it anyway. So it doesn't bother me, but anyway, I'm just going to ink that pocket part for video purposes. And then I didn't even measure. I just folded it up. I just folded it up. Um, I don't even know where my bone folder is. Anyway, so burnish it and uh, glue it on the two sides and that's it. So that's tag pocket, this is number four. all over my mat that's it and then I just took my um, 3 8 or 3 16 uh, punch I kind of guesstimated the center and punched a hole and then you can put um, reinforcers the way I did here you can put an eyelet you can put whatever you want so um and decorate it yeah so this one has a journal card and a small tag inside inside of it and then um i'll finish inking that off camera but i've got two and i can make plenty of these like you saw how quickly that came together the longest part would be um gluing the page together or if you have a paper that's you know thick enough to begin with I just did it because it's a thinner book page and I wanted it to be sturdy so um yeah so you can do that and then this is pocket number five and I'm gonna not show you the decorated one ha I'll show it to you afterwards so this is called a tuxedo pocket and this is my prototype and basically um what i learned from this prototype when i folded it i wasn't careful and this opening side here is shorter than i would have liked it to so i have the longer side on this on the uh, right side instead of the left and i would like to open it from this side so anyway this is what's called a tuxedo pocket and what you do with this one, like I said, is, you know, be careful of the side that you want to be your, your opening side um, so that you can make this fold, this, um, you fold it in on itself. But you want to make sure that if you want it to open to the left, that you make the inside part a little bit shorter so that this part can go all the way to the edge, right? So now this one is gonna open this way, whereas this one opens this way because it, it just looks better, I think. Anyway, so burnish it. I don't know what I did with my bone folder. 
I'm going to use this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold this down. All right. And then you're going to fold this down. So there you go. When you close it, it kind of looks like a tuxedo, kind of, you know, the two lapels. And then what you do is you fold this up, but not don't take it all the way to the edge because then it's hard to get stuff in and out without having that lapel part um, get in your way. So kind of maybe take it halfway or three quarters of the way up and then fold that down. Okay. And then what Pam at the paper outpost did was she folded this to the back. And so she had pockets on the back. She had pockets on the back and the front so you see you have a pocket here and you have a pocket here and you have a pocket here and then on the inside you would have to add pockets i kind of did it the opposite way i left the fold this way and then i just um put a little line of glue here i put a tiny tiny little line of glue like where the um, fold is here. A little bit of glue here. And a little bit of glue here. And of course the bottom. And then I folded it up. And again, I should have inked it, but I didn't. I should have cut notches, but I didn't. Um, so let me get my smaller. These pockets are smaller. I'm going to use my one inch instead of my one and a half inch. And I'm just going to slip the uh, thinner part of the punch inside of the pocket if I can get it to go in. And I'm going to guesstimate where to punch it. That was kind of a small notch. Make that a little bit bigger. Oh, that got messed up. Okay, there. So that's a bigger notch. I'm going to do the same thing over here. down and again I'm gonna do the same thing on this side you know what did I put glue oh my god yep I'm so sorry there was supposed to be no glue at the bottom edge there was supposed to be no glue here because that's gonna be the top of the pocket so that's my mistake I apologize for that so I'm going to do a notch here. I'm going to guesstimate. I'm sorry. Big mistake on my part. So I apologize again. Let me do it here. Here. And here. And again, no need to glue on this top portion because th those are going to be the openings for your pockets. Silly me. All right. And then I just wanted these pockets not to like, um, not to flip over, not to uh, like flip open and become like separate when you have it open. I wanted the pockets to stay closed. 
So, um, yeah, so there you have it. And then what I did was I just took a, a piece of scrap and I, oh, actually, does that, that's exactly the right size. And I'm going to just go ahead and trim the pocket with my cutter. And I'm going to punch a hole in it. And this one I am going to glue on the bottom. Because <laughs> this is going to be an outside pocket. And it's not a fold up. So this does have to be glued on the bottom. And then I'm just going to put it here. And this is the piece I used earlier to uh, ink the inside. So it has the ink on it, but that's fine. Because you're going to decorate it anyway, right? And then um, this is why I chose to have um, the flip on the inside. Because instead of adding um, pockets on the outside, I could just do pockets you know, one pocket here and then one pocket here. And here I'm going to use um, like a, a, a corner pocket. So let me just mark this where I want it. Hold on. I'm just going to mark it here and here. And I'm going to use my cutter right there. I have barely an eraser left. So I'm going to try to erase those. And then this will get glued here just on the two sides and um the prototype i had made i used a much bigger um book page because it was like the two sides of the of the page but it had all these holes in the middle I don't know if you can see that that's why I decided to then use the smaller page and just get a smaller pocket but you can do it whatever size you want and the size of your pocket is going to depend on the size of your book page so this is the pocket um, if you're going to glue it down on your um, journal, <clears throat> then that's all you really need to do. If you're going to use it as a free-floating um, kind of pocket, then you can go ahead and add pockets on the back, which I did on this prototype. So again, I had um, the three pockets here, right? And then I added a pocket here. Oh, I didn't finish this one, as a matter of fact, because I should have added a pocket on the front. And then here I added two pockets on the back. So I have one, two, then you would have had three. And the purpose of the pocket in the front is that whatever piece of ephemera you put in there should be tall enough to block this flap from coming open. So again, you have one, two, the front pocket would have been three. Then you would have had four, five, six, and seven pockets. And then if you um, put it down as 
uh, tuck and just glue the two sides and put it down, you'll only have five pockets because you won't have the two pockets in the back, but you will have a tuck space. So that would be six. So that's that. And this is this one. And then here is my decorated version, which I uh, pinned together with a little uh, paper clip just to keep it from coming open. And I added no pockets on this because I'm probably gonna stick it down in my journal as a tuck. But um, if I'm gonna use it as a free floating pocket, I would add pockets, at least two of them in the back, and then I could put them under a belly band, I could put them in a tuck, or um, just clip it into the journal. So anyway, here you see I have my pocket in the front. I decorated it with the butterfly, added some lace, um, some uh, tags here, butterflies, and a little journal card in the front. Then when you bring it open, I just did uh, minimal decoration inside and I inked it all. And so here I have a, a journal card and a little tag. Over here I have a little tag, decorated that little pocket. And then over here, I put another journal card, a journal card, and a tag. These are still undecorated um, from the stash that I made, but I'm just using them as examples here. And then I put a label on the inside so um, you can write or stamp whatever you want in there. So those are my five pockets. And um, so again, I have three of these for my stash so in total i'm gonna have three let's see three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen pockets for my stash where before I had none. Just popping back in because I forgot to show you an important feature of the tuxedo pocket. Um, if you pull out the um, journal card from the front pocket, you can flip up the tab and there's some journaling space here, as well as some journaling space here. So I forgot to mention that when I was um, um, featuring the pocket, so just wanted to pop back in and show that to you. So I hope you all enjoyed the pocket making video. I'm super excited to have all of those new pockets in my ephemera stash. Uh, I think I'm going to make one more video on uh, ephemera building because I had the um, strips left over from some of the pockets and I can easily turn those into belly bands or snippets. So that should uh, be the next video. And then I also have a bunch of items that I've hauled. I went shopping with some Christmas money and I'm excited about the things I got. So I want to show that um, to you guys soon. As always, like, share, comment, and hit that notification bell. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. See you next time. Bye.